New at six, camping is for the birds. A local cockatoo owner has a thing or two to say about changing the law. Right now it's illegal to bring pet birds, hamsters, even goldfish camping with you in Rhode Island. Only dogs and cats are allowed. But that could change with new legislation winding its way through the General Assembly. NBC 10's Allison Bologna is live in the newsroom with more on that. Turn to 10, Allison. Turn to 10. This is a Friday afternoon story, right, Gene? <laughs> it's already past the House, and it's scheduled to be heard in the Senate. We spoke with a local bird owner, that's Tom right there, and Tootsie, um, about what he wants to do. Listen up, he says, and be fair to all pet owners. They've been together for more than 20 years, Tom and Tootsie. She's an umbrella cockatoo, and she loves me. And Tom loves to camp, but in Rhode Island, he's not allowed to take Tootsie with him. The problem is, and has been, that the state law provides for campgrounds only to bring in cats and dogs. So I was made aware of the law a few years ago when I was ejected from Burlingame Park, and then I was ejected from Fisherman's Memorial Park because I had a bird inside my RV. So now Tom is fighting back again. He wants legislation passed that would allow non four legged animals like Tootsie into Rhode Island campgrounds. The legislation just passed the House. We talked to the speaker about that. We do have a lot of animal lovers in the House of Representatives and I'm an animal lover and they don't have a voice. So sometimes we, we have to protect the interest of animals. Sometimes we have to protect the interest of the animal um, owners and uh, you know, they're very important to us. The speaker says he loves animals too and can understand why Tom would want Tootsie to go camping with him. This comes though after a bill was debated over insects. Yes, insects and whether or not a certain beetle should be the state insect. Hmm. Clearly regarding animals, the parrots, because we in the house passed that bill and we haven't acted on the insect bill yet. Don't laugh though, this is actually making national news. Tom and Tootsie have been contacted by more media outlets than just us. Those who oppose the bill say it could open the door for other animals, including turkeys, chickens, maybe even goats. Tom though doesn't think so. He'll continue to fight with the state rep. Well, I think it's important to his constituents who believe that they have a right to bring their their pets with them while they go camping. Tom hopes if it gets through the Senate now, the governor will go for it. That didn't happen in past administrations. And I'm hoping our new governor doesn't veto it because there's no logical reason that she shouldn't be able to accompany me on a camping trip. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. So now it's headed to the Senate, then to the governor if it passes in the Senate. Allison Bologna, NBC 10 News.